Hi, normally I am a happy and exciting person, but recently I have lost both of my parents. They were ill for a long time, but I didn't expect them both to die within eight months. Um, I expected to have my mom a little longer than uh, my father. Um, I did not expect their death, so their death was too much um, for me. Uh, my mother had a difficult time after being married for 49 years, losing my dad, so she soon passed. I experienced, experienced many mood changes, um, emotional ups and downs, so I did research and I found out about the Mayo Clinic. The Mayo Clinic listed a different um, ways of coping with stress, and some of them I, I thought was very helpful. Physical exercise, which is good to change your moods, endorphins are released in your brain and different other chemicals that changes your moods. Um, also walking is a good form of circulation, you can, it circulates your body and also gets your body in shape. Gardening is a good one. Um, I enjoy gardening, but I've been researching it and I want to learn, you know, to grow my own fruits and vegetables. House keeping is good. My schedule has been so busy, so I've got behind on the housekeeping, but I do enjoy housekeeping um, very much. They suggest laughter, laughter, uh, telling jokes, uh, talking to people. Um, that's good. I like to watch comedy shows, different types of comedy shows. Uh, the classics. Some comedy is just too racy on television, so I have to turn. I like the traditional comedy. Connecting to others, old relationships, friendships, remind you of happier times and also helps with the mood swings. Uh, you can connect to others with social events. Um, if you don't want to be around people, just make it like short periods of time um, because your, your moods are changing. And sometimes people just don't want to you know, be with other people. Delegate work, uh, let everyone participate in the work. Um, getting sleep, getting enough sleep. Some people need four hours, some people need two. Um, I need more uh, than four hours of sleep. The amount of sleep you actually get changes your moods. So um, it can be directly, uh, your mood swings can be directly related to sleep deprivation. Um, the brain needs to recharge and the body needs to as well. Listening to music, your favorite type of music is helpful. So if you can listen to your favorite type of music, they make you feel good. Um, put away clocks. Uh, sometimes different sounds can be distracting. For me, my different sounds is um, the background noise that you might hear, with, which is children. And that can be very distracting at, at times. So we try to have the same schedule um, so that we coordinate our schedules. Uh, counseling. Um, is one I'm going to touch on later, but keep a journal where you can write all your ideas down and you can also um, express your emotions, which is good because if you can express your emotions, um, you can like put yourself outside of the situation and you um, can actually solve problems um, that way. Counseling, church counseling, friendships, um, you can talk to friends. Um, you can sometimes counseling is expensive, so uh, if you can't afford that, then there's non-profit counseling that can be very helpful. Community uh, services can offer a very low-range uh, counseling uh, service. Um, a form of exercise is yoga. Uh, different types of yoga. I'm not an expert on on yoga, but I've seen like different cable shows and I participated in different forms of yoga uh, with the cable shows or the uh, direct TV. Or, but it's been very helpful um, being able to relax and to stretch. I used to do more, but I want to get back into shape uh, with the yoga because it connects the mental and the physical and makes it um, one. And you feel an immediate release. You feel in harmony with your body and soul. Everything feels at peace. Um, there's different types of yoga. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but I do know that there's some that moves faster than others, more stretching. I would suggest that you use a form that doesn't 
uh, strain um, could prove, you know, the increased strain on your muscles. So start off slow, um, slow movement. And the ones that's for yoga, for beginners, not uh, experienced. Because if you pull something, you're not going to want to go back and uh, do it again. The negative stresses that relievers and students often use in college is binge drinking. When you binge drink, um, there's a chance of, well, death. There's many college students that have played games with drinking, drinking games, and they have actually died, uh, which is very stressful for their families and very traumatic for the other students that witness uh, these types of events. Um, anxiety, uh, some doctors can recommend medicine. So I was in, suggesting natural forms of releasing stress, such as which I mentioned before, uh, exercise and um, meditating or yoga uh, to re calming your uh, mind. Television can also encourage negativity if you eat while you watch television. So if you're stressed out and you're eating and you're looking at their life on television, it makes it can actually make you feel, you know, more um, depressed and whatnot. Um, I also have a scripture here. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do it this scripture. Well, I guess I'll take you again. Oh, there you are. Health problems. That's the other thing that I was I wanted to talk about. Um, the health problems can come with can cause anxiety and medical problems. But I want to leave you with the scripture. Uh, finally, brother, farewell. Be perfect. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace shall be with you. That was very comforting um, when I read that. So I wanted to end uh, with that so that you don't suffer a lot of health issues and, and all of that. Thank you.